hey what's up so today i want to talk about one of the biggest issue in windows so let's say you bought a brand new pc or laptop and after a while let's say month or two you feel like your pc is running slow that i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys may have noticed this this is actually a really common issue and you may start to think that uh, there is something wrong with the cpu gpu ram yeah maybe it is possible but your pc is brand new everything looks fine like when you reinstall windows it will run like brand new so why does this happen why over time pc becomes slower and slower it's actually your hard drive technically it's not even your hard drive it's actually windows if you have a ssd which like nowadays almost every modern computer has the ssd so if you have a ssd your computer will slow down after using it for a while uh, maybe a month two maybe even three or six months so what happens is actually the ssd becomes slower in windows uh, this is actually more common in windows 11 for some reason ssds in windows 11 becomes really really slow especially the write speed but I can also confirm that it is also true for the Windows 10 because I have also used Windows 10. And uh, now I need to tell you something. I used to reinstall Windows in almost every three to four months or maximum six months just because it becomes really, really slow until a few months ago. Actually, I'm going to have to show you guys this. So on this, my main machine, main computer, I installed Windows 11 uh, on uh, August. All right. It's January 2024 20, now. So almost like five months, almost. I have no issues with this computer because I fixed the issue. The issue is actually with the SSD or technically it's actually the Windows 11 and 10. It's more common in Windows 11. If you have a Windows 11 computer and you haven't reinstalled Windows 11 yet, I'm pretty sure it feels really slow, even if it's a beefy system. This is actually a known issue if you search on Google uh, why your SSD is slow. And then you'll see a lot of articles on it. You'll see uh, a lot of Reddit posts in it. This is like a really common issue with the Windows 11 right now. So what happens is after a while, your SSD becomes slow. Then your computer starts to feel slow, sluggish, you know. So the best way to confirm this is by opening the task manager, go to performance tab and then select your SSD. It should be the C drive. And after that, launch multiple programs. OK, just launch multiple programs and see if your disk reaches the 100 percent and when you're opening the multiple programs if there is a delay in programs opening plus you know you feel slight lag when you use them then it is confirmed that you have an ssd issue so another way to confirm this is by uh, using something like this uh, this is a program called as uh, ssd benchmark using this you can benchmark your ssd and first, before you benchmark, you need to find out your SSD's read and write speed. So actually, this is my SSD. It's a Data M.2. Uh, this is the one that I have, all right? And I have the 520 gigabytes one, which has read and write speed of uh, 550 uh, megabytes per second so basically we have the 500 megabytes per second read and write speed now we know that our ssd's max read and write speed we can go and open this ssd benchmark software and select our ssd so you can see this is the adapter um, ssd and we can uncheck all the options in here and just run the first one sequential uh, read and write speed okay uh, it will be quick and easy uh, we don't need to run all the benchmarks okay uh, we are just looking here for our actual read and write speed of uh, ssd now we're just gonna click on start and it should start doing the thing like start benchmarking the 
SSD speed. You don't have to run this all the way. We can just stop this. And here you can see it is giving us a read speed of 5 uh, to 5 megabytes per second. And write speed is 475 megabytes per second. So you can see it's close to 500 megabytes per second write speed. And it's above 500 megabytes per second in uh, read speed, which means my SSD is running fine. There is no issue with it. But if you see a significant drop in read or write speed, let's say it's supposed to be 500 megabytes per second, but you get like 300, 350, then uh, there is an issue. Plus, make sure that nothing else is running in the background, like you're not running a game, you're not running a any program. So make sure that when you're doing the SSD benchmark, you're not doing any other task. So once you confirm your read and write speed, if everything looks okay, good, good for you. Now here is a twist. If you have a one SSD and you install all programs on that SSD, your C drive, okay, then it's, I'm 100% sure that you have a issue with SSD. In benchmark, I'm pretty sure you'll have uh, a issue with read and write speed. Maybe your write speed will be significant lower than compared to your SSD's specs. I'm pretty sure about that. Just go and do the SSD benchmark and you'll know what's up, okay? This happens when you have only one SSD and you install all the programs, all the games on that same SSD, the C drive. But if you have a, another SSD, or even HDD, if you install all the programs on secondary drive, then you'll not face this issue. So if you want to keep your Windows PC running smooth, then you need two SSDs or maybe if you're okay with the HDD, yeah, you'll need a two disks on your computer. Okay. One for the just operating system and other for your extra files, games, and programs. Try to store almost everything in secondary drive and try to not touch the SSD when you're storing anything. I can guarantee you that your Windows PC will always feel smooth and fast, just like when you first bought it. Yeah, that's the secret. I actually did multiple tests to confirm this, maybe some of you guys have watched those videos. Yeah, I can finally confirm that having two SSDs is better and I try not to touch the C drive. If you don't touch the C drive, your PC will always run fast and smooth. Yeah, I'm a guy who used to reinstall Windows very often, like after a three month, sometime even a month, because I download many programs, games, files, and all that, which makes my Windows like really, really slow. But now, since I have two SSDs and I do not touch the C drive, I do not store anything in the C drive, it is running well. It feels the same as like when I did the fresh install of Windows 11. Now, maybe some of you guys are curious why this happens. You wanna know the reason why this happens. Then there is this thing called trim command for SSD. So basically what this thing does is improves the performance of the SSD by changing and deleting the information on SSD. Like when you store something on uh, storage device and then you delete them the information still stays there so this trim command helps to clear that thing out and makes the ssd free so trim command needs to run all the time so for some reason in windows especially in windows 11 this thing doesn't work properly you can also enable and disable this thing uh, by default it should be turned on or enabled but if you're interested in this, like you want to go even deeper, then just do the uh, Google search trim command and you'll understand everything, how to use it, how to r run it manually and how to enable it or disable it. And none of the things actually work with the Windows 11. Even if you run the trim command manually, at some point uh, it's going to happen again. I don't know why the windows is broken. It's not the SSD's fault. It's actually the windows having multiple SSDs 
is good and try not to store anything in windows drive the c drive leave it alone just do not touch and i can guarantee you your windows will always run smooth and fast and try to move your downloads your documents pictures folders to the secondary drive too like for example if you check my downloads folders property if i go to location you can see this is uh, in d drive not in c drive because we download many things from the internet so at some point the c drive is going to get full with invalid information and trim command won't you know run in background automatically sometime i think it works automatically uh, but i don't know uh, I'm, I'm not gonna go deep into this but it is what it is okay so try to move all the things to the secondary drive as much as possible i even use uh, something called symbolic link in my system but uh, i think you don't actually need to use symbolic link because almost you know all the games and programs lets you choose the installation directory except few of them out there like uh, the chrome like chrome browser you can't choose to install on other drive some programs will get installed on the c drive but don't worry as long as you try your best to keep c drive clean i'm pretty sure your windows will always run fine trust me on that yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it uh, if you still have any questions or have still have any confusion then please do the comment uh, we can have some chit chat in the comment section too and yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye